what is the difference between authentication and authorization authorization is the process of allowing an authenticated users to access the resources by verifying or checking whether the user has an access right to the system or not authorization help us to control the access rights by granting or denying specific permission to an authenticated user so authentication deals with the user account validation means is this a valid user is this user registered in our application for example login credentials authorization deals with user access validation to certain feature and does this user have authorization right to access this feature for example some claims or roles can be given authentication is the process of verifying the identity of the user by obtaining some sort of credentials and using those credentials to verify the user's identity so if credentials are valid the authorization process starts authentication process always proceed to the authorization process and authorization is the process of allowing this authenticated user to access the resource by checking the access right and uh, you can grant or deny specific permission to the authenticated user if authorization uh, is not proper authentication and authorization authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user while the authorization is the process of checking whether the user has the access right to the system or not or to some certain resources of the system authentication it always proceeds to authorization while authorization it is the process of allowing an authenticated user to access certain resources it has a separate it means authentication has uh, two separate levels because all the requests coming through say some iis before it is handled and uh, in authorization it allows two ways to authorize access to a given resource in authentication they have two additional schemes like windows authentication form authentication passport authentication while in authorization you can have url authorization or file authorization authentication is a is used by a server when the server needs to know exactly who is accessing the information on site and authentication is, is used by a client when the client needs to know that the server is system it claims to be in authentication the user or a computer has to prove its identity to the server or the client so usually authentication by server entails the user uh, username and password the usage of these two other ways of authenticating can be through cards or retina scans voice recognitions or fingerprints so authentication by a client usually involves the server giving a certificate to the client in which say a third party trusted third party like verisign or thought states that the server actually belongs to the entity such as a bank that the client expects it to be and authentication does not determine what task the these uh, individual can do or what files the individual can see authentication merely identifies and verifies who the person or system is in the authorization the process by which the server determines if the client has permission to uh, use a resource or access a file so authorization is usually coupled with authentication so that the server has some concept of who the client is that it is re requesting access the type of authentication required for authorization may vary passwords may be required in some cases but not in others in certain cases there is no authorization so any user may be uh, used or may be used as a resource or access a file simply just by asking for it most of the web pages on internet require authentication or authorization so encryption involves the process of transforming data so that it it is unreadable by anyone who does not have a decryption key the ssh or secure shell or ssl uh, the socket layer these protocols are usually used for this encryption process and this ssl drives the secure part of say https sites used in e-commerce uh, and various other sites so all data in this ssl transaction is encrypted between the client and the server before the data is transferred between the two and all data in this secure shell session is encrypted between the client and the server when the communication uh, or they are communicating at this shell and by encrypting the data exchange between the client and the server information like social security number the credit card numbers and home addresses can be sent over the internet with little risk of being intercepted during the transit so this was about the authorization and authentication thank you so much